fire erupts in the heart of downtown Orangistan. Plus, in today's lifestyle segment, some children do not recognize that they are overweight. And a medical cream called Alhydrin is distributed internationally, in which the makers believe can contribute tremendously to Aruba's economy. 15 on 15 starts right now. Thank you for joining us. I'm Yanto Liu. At approximately 1 p.m. today, a devastating fire erupted in downtown Orangistad. The entire city center stopped as flames erupted inside the monumental building. Black smoke filled the air of Orangistad. The fire started inside the former Papimental restaurant at Wilhelmina Street 7. The building that is said to have monumental value belongs to family Arendt. The building is situated beside Paris Restaurant and across from City Hall. Aruba's financial status reputation on an international level is at an all-time low. The Wall Street Journal, along with other media outlets, are reporting on Fitch cutting Aruba's ratings after the Valero refinery suspensions, citing that Fitch said the impact of refinery suspensions highlights the island's narrow economic structure and vulnerability to external shocks. International press are reporting on Aruba's Fitch ratings. According to the Wall Street Journal, Fitch ratings has lowered its debt ratings on Aruba to the brink of junk status. The primary reason, according to these reports, is the recurring suspensions of the Vallejo refinery operations. The financial outlook of Aruba has been revised from stable to negative. Juan David Iroskin made a statement on Wednesday during a press conference saying the government doesn't believe the Fitch report depicts a true economic picture of Aruba and reiterated the government's commitment to its fiscal consolidation plan, which compromises austerity measures and structural social security reforms, as well as spending for infrastructure and other programs. And moving forward, the remains of the victims who were on board Malaysian flight MH17 have begun returning back to friends and family to bury or cremate. Amongst the 298 dead, 198 were of Dutch nationality. A special ceremony was held on Wednesday for respect to be paid to the victims. On Wednesday, remains of the victims started to arrive in the Netherlands so they can be identified and delivered to the families. The ceremony took place in a military ceremony that was very intimate. Forty victims to start out with arrived in Hilversum. King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima were also present to pay their respects. Now switching gears to a different note, Kunuku plantations on the island are known for growing vegetables that are typical to the cuisine of Aruba. However, due to the ongoing drought Aruba is experiencing, it has become a challenge for farmers to keep up with the regular produce they usually grow. Dragon fruits are now the new craze. Kunuku of Jimmy is usually known for growing typical vegetables necessary for local Aruban cuisine, such as okra, cucumbers, yambo, etc. For more than 20 years in James Ramos' daily work, he has to cultivate plants to survive in our climate. Due to the drought, the types of fruits and vegetables he grows usually has changed. His focus is now on dragon fruits. At this plantation, nine different types of dragon fruits are planted. The fruit is in high demand because of its nutritional value. The demand is there, according to James, because the chefs in the hotels specifically like to work with dragon fruit as an ingredient. People are getting to know the fruit more. Dragon fruits are filled with vitamins and they are good for your digestive as well immune system. A medical product that is grown on the island and manufactured here has been used in more than 20 countries for six years now. It is an aloe-based product that gives such good results some hospitals use it on all their burn patients. Take a look. It's a nice story to it that how it became known in the Gent uh, Hospital, the uh, un University Burn Center, because a friend of me got burned very badly in Belgium and he had to go to that center and he lay there for many months. But when he was there, he asked me to send my previous burn cream that was then in development and he knew I was busy with it and I sent it to him and it worked very well on him and all the doctors who were treating him were impressed by how well it worked. So that was the beginning that they started to use that in that hospital and until today they use it on all the patients, all the burn patients. 
And now that product is available in Aruba. Find out more about Alhydrin coming up later on in the show. But first, we'll have this. Welcome back from the break. Aruba is an island that struggles with childhood obesity. One of the main problems could be that kids don't actually see themselves as overweight. When this is the case, it is much harder to transition the child to have healthier behaviors. Many overweight kids don't seem to see themselves that way. The United States Center for Disease Control and Prevention reported this. More than one-third of children between 8 to 15 put themselves in the wrong weight category. Normal weight children perceived themselves that way, while more than 40% of obese kids didn't recognize their weight problem. This is an issue since this makes it harder for children to change to healthier behavior. Also, parents of overweight children often don't realize their child is outside of the normal weight range as well. Being overweight or obese compromises a child's health. It can increase their risk of cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, along with other health issues. Speaking of health and weight, there are a few things adults can do during the weeknights while watching Netflix to promote weight loss. First of all, make yourself a low-sodium dinner if you want to wake up feeling less bloated. Reason being, salt stays in your system overnight so you wake up puffier than you normally would. The best option is to cook a healthy meal of steamed veggies and a lean protein, neither of which should be loaded with salt. Then prior to heading to bed, pack your lunch. This is something everyone should be doing more often. The average restaurant meal, dine-in or takeout contains more than twice the number of calories you should be consuming in one sitting. So pack wisely the night before for your lunch the next day. And switching over, there is a new pr product out on the market that is extremely useful to everyone on the island. Icy Breeze is a genius drink cooler that doubles as an air conditioner. Check this out. Icy Breeze can be used indoors and outdoors. Aside from the fact that you can fill it up with ice and drinks to refresh yourself on hot days, it also doubles as a fully functional air conditioner. Here's a product that Aruba needs to sell. The Icy Breeze's lid doubles as a radiator that has the ability to vacuum ice cold water from the base of a cooler using it to chill air and cool you off. The frigid air that the icy breeze pumps out is guaranteed to be 35 degrees cooler than the air outside. Something we could use all year round, definitely. That icy breeze looks very interesting. The cordless and portable cooler is $350. Simply search icy breeze online for more details. And on that note, we will be right back. Take a look to see what is coming up next. Alloy plants are, of course, very good when it comes to healing certain types of burns, irritation, and actually even itching. Something you may not know is that there is a product called Alhydrin that has been circulating in around the world in more than 20 countries. And Alhydrin is actually made and produced right here in Aruba. However, it has never been in the Aruban market until now. Dr. Kos Vale is the director of operations at Aruba Alloy. The brand has recently launched a new product made available on the island. Alhydrin is a medical cream that can treat severe burns and scars. It's especially a cream good for the after care of burn wounds. Now, we now sell it in more than 20 countries in the world, so it's a very popular product already. And we make all the cream here in Aruba, so this is the main factory where it's being made, with Aruba aloe from the Aruba aloe fields, our own fields here. And we all know that the Aruba aloes are the best in the world. That's in all the pharmaceutical books already. So we have a big advantage for this cream already. It's a very good product. It's a very good industry for Aruba because we're growing very rapidly and dramatically. And we foresee that our company becomes a very important economical factor for Aruba. The product is so well received internationally that the doctor believes it will contribute tremendously to the island's economy. This medical cream made in Aruba's laboratory cannot be compared to your typical after-sun lotion. This medical product does a lot more than an after-sun lotion. After-sun lotion is basically to cool the skin after a day in the sun and moisturize the skin if it's a little bit dry from the sun. This product really has a more intense treatment 
for especially skins that has been broken or has been damaged. It will help heal the skin because there's a lot of aloe gel in this product. There's 45% of this product is aloe gel. And the other products are special oils and moisturizers that help you the skin to seal the skin and make the skin heal quicker and faster than without the cream. The product can be found at all Medique pharmacies, including the Botica Kiprahacha, located at Superfood. We, the Medic pharmacies, we have six locations. We have Kibrahacha at the Superfood, we have Trupial in Ponton, Odiber in the Main Street, and we have Botica Central in Santa Cruz, with the opening hours 7.30 a.m. till 7.30 p.m. And also we have two locations in San Nicolas, is San Lucas, and for Centro Medico with the opening hours 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. Medique is very proud to carry the Alhydrin line, seeing that the aloe ingredient derives straight from Aruba's soil. It is an Aruban product and a product that is in demand. We choose to have this line in store because it's very important and very, we are very proud because it's made here in Aruba and we're sure it, has, uh, it gives you good results. Um, we need something like this because we have a lot of people with burns because we have a lot of sun over here and it is good because uh, you can use it in babies, children till adults. So hopefully you learned a thing or two when it comes to the Hydrin product. Like the doctor mentioned though, it is very good for all, all sorts of burns and it has plenty of medical benefits. And it's about time that this product is now being sold on the island, seeing as though it has been circulating around in more than 20 countries for six years. That is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us. And closing the show right here from the Aruba Alloy Farm, I'm Yantalu and we will see you tomorrow night at the same time, same place.